How's it going guys? Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video we're talking about a question or more or less frustration that a lot of you guys have, I certainly have it, which is why do Android phones take so long to get updated to the next version of the OS? You know, why is it that the iPhone or iOS get updated pretty much as soon as Apple announces it? Um, why is it that Windows Phone, which this HD7 over here, which is a year and a half old, gets updated to the latest version of the OS, which is Mango 7.5, Yet, a phone that was more recently released than either of these guys, like the Galaxy Note, just barely got the update to Ice Cream Sandwich, which is the latest version on Android, which is seven months after the Galaxy Nexus was launched with Ice Cream Sandwich back in November. You know, why is it that this guy just barely got updated? And this is the international unlock version. Let's not even talk about the carrier branded version on AT&T. Um, for that matter, any carrier branded phone, um, whether it's HTC, LG, Motorola, or Samsung, I mean, Pretty much most phones out there don't have ICS or Android 4.0, only 8% do, and a big portion of that is due to HC1 series sales and uh, new phones that are coming out with Ice Cream Sandwich. Of course, a lot of phones are being updated just now, but it's still seven months down the line, which to me is way too long, but you know, I, this is turning into a rant, but let me tell you guys, you know, let's go back to the question, why is it that way? So I'm not gonna answer that question with my theories because you know everybody has their own theories, but I'll go to you know somebody in the know which is an executive from Motorola. Her name is Christy Wyatt. And basically what she says is when Google releases a new version of the software, for example, Ice Cream Sandwich, they do a version that's made specifically for that phone that they work on. So for example, the Galaxy Nexus. So the rest of the Android ecosystem out there doesn't get to see the new software until pretty much we see it. So basically that's part of the delay because they don't get it you know, as soon as you would think. And um, you know that's an issue that at least Apple doesn't have. And anyway, um, she goes on to say that hardware is the biggest issue when it comes to updating a phone because there's multiple chipsets, there's multiple radio bands for multiple countries on these phones. And uh, that's really what takes a big portion of time to adjust all the firmware to work for that. And then you have the custom UI, of course, which that was one of my major you know things. You know, I always thought that it was a custom UI that took all the time for the updates, but yet it seems to be a smaller portion of the hardware. Anyway, it does add on to the amount of time to update your phone. And then lastly, these phones have to get approved by manufacturers because it has a whole bunch of many, or I'm sorry, carriers, because it has a whole bunch of carrier bloatware on there. So they have to make sure their apps work. And all these things end up adding on to the t amount of time that it takes for you to get updated. That's why it's seven months down the line. And uh, you know, we still haven't seen updates for your phone. And you know, maybe Jelly Bean 5.0 is gonna be coming out soon. And yet your phone's still gonna be stuck on gingerbread hoping to get ice cream sandwich so it's kind of ridic ridiculous but anyway that's just the way it is um that's the reason so that's why you know if you get a, a phone like the nexus you're not going to have to wait for uh the carrier to approve it because it's the unlocked hspa plus version of course the verizon version will take a little bit longer to get updated um this is the phone that google built the software on and builds the software on uh, until they release the next nexus so that's another uh you know step out of the process which makes it get updates a little bit faster and of course, you know, the same hardware uh, is on here. So anyway, that's why the Nexus gets updated faster. Um, on Windows Phone, uh, they really, Microsoft really restricts the hardware that can be used by manufacturers. So a lot of them have the same processors, uh, the same three button layout, the same resolution on the screen. Where on Android, you know, it's all over the map. Uh, the phones are all different, which is, you know, a great thing about Android, but it comes at a cost. And of course, the iPhone, and iOS, I mean, Apple knows you know, the software that's gonna be going on this guy from the very beginning. There's only one phone, or at least one recent phone, which is you know, the 4S, uh, one processor to work with, and it doesn't have any carrier bloatware on here, so they don't have to worry about that either. So that's why this gets updated so fast too. So anyway, just wanted to make a quick video about this to let you guys you know, know what's going on. And um, hopefully, you know, with the new Nexus initiative that Google looks to be rolling out, which I made a video about uh, on the channel, Hopefully, it means manufacturers get the software in their hands a little bit earlier, and hopefully we can see updates a little earlier. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. Thank you for watching.